day eight. This is Redhead Goes Healthy. If you are new to my channel, I am on a 21 day mind, body, soul reset challenge. I made a video for that explaining all of the rules that I gave myself. Go ahead and click on that above if you haven't seen it or just check out my daily goals listed below. So it's officially been a week, a full week, full seven days because this is day eight and I am so excited to share the results so far with you guys. Here is my weigh-in. So that is 2.2 pounds that I've lost in one week. A whole pound more than what I was expecting. So I am absolutely thrilled by that. I'm glad that it's consistent with what I saw yesterday, that yesterday wasn't just some sort of fluke, that even again, after doing a normal calorie day, I was able to maintain the two pound loss. My hope is that next week, it'll be at least another pound and I can finally be back in the 170s. It's all about the slow and steady progress. So let's get right into it. Let's uh, go to my mind. So we are approaching the gates of hell, which just means our own inner hells. This is a chance for us to think about the things that we normally don't allow ourselves to think about. The do not mention zones, as she calls it. So everybody, if you're watching this, I want you to think about what your do not mention zones are. The things that are actually really, really difficult for you to think about. I know it's hard. It's really hard for me. There's a reason why they are in the do not mention zone, but it's really important that we kill our cowardice and that we're brave. This is the only way to face the things that truly terrify us. And it's the only way to get through the hell that she's describing here, which means it's the only way toward healing. In order to do that, she says that we have to just be totally present in the moment, the here, the now. As you're watching this, try to be as present as possible. Don't think about things you have to do. Don't think about the past. What is right now? And by dropping the resistance to whatever is happening right now, we're better able to cope. And I found it kind of um, serendipitous because the way she ends the 10 pages that I read today was to talk about the value and importance of meditating. Meditation is really difficult for those of us who are easily distracted and for those of us who don't wanna think about the hard things because it forces you to just sit with yourself. It's so important to sit with yourself because you are enough. And even repeating that mantra while you meditate sometimes is enough. So I hope you do join me on the meditation today and just try to sit with yourself and do nothing else because tomorrow we are finally entering hell. Okay, now we're gonna talk about my body. Yesterday, like I said, was really hard for me because it was a really long Peloton bike ride. Today was a rest day, so I just did a walk run. to get the peloton treadmill but it's way more expensive than the bike so i don't know when that's gonna happen and now finally the soul again feel free to meditate along with me i chose different music this time so hopefully this kind of puts you into the meditative space
Thanks guys for watching and be sure to stay tuned for the end of the day daily goals checklist. Okay, my weight was a 180.2. I read those 10 pages. I closed the move ring today. Even with my little walk, I got 700 total. I met up with a friend, so I walked around a little bit. Total calories burned today, 2200, so check. One gallon of water, easy to do for me. This is a regular, tomorrow's a calorie cut day. Uh, calories consumed today, 1900, check. Meditate for those five minutes, and then film and upload this accountability video. See you all tomorrow for day nine.